What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general readings for somebody. So let's see, please don't mind that. Let's see who needs this reading today. Scorpio. What's up Scorpios? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Scorpio as a sun, moon, rising, arena sign. The energies might be reversed for you, Virgo. Whoa, I said Virgo. I haven't done Virgo's reading yet. So you guys could be dealing with a Virgo or have Virgo somewhere in your chart. Um, because for me to say Virgo, that's that's different. Um, Scorpio, I know who I'm talking to, Scorpio. Um, so this video is going to be a little bit different, Scorpio. It's going to be about what needs improvement. So I'm going to pull some Oracle cards oracle cards and then we're going to pull two different decks just to get two different perspectives and see what's going on all right all right scorpio spirit what does scorpio need improvement on pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle so what needs improvement scorpio right now is your energy you're really you you have some energy that um they want you to raise it up it's very like it's very like kind of energy you know like wh what's that donkey called in winnie the pooh is it donkey <laughs> sorry i just got my wisdom tooth removed so if you guys see me like struggling not just i got it done on four days ago but anyway uh yeah that's funny bottom of like is the intuition so i feel like you're like the donkey in, in winnie the pooh like and the universe is like, can you um, uplift your spirits, please? Uh, you have the in the initiation, might of passage, crossing the threshold. Oh, this is like a transformation. I mean, Scorpio, you guys are literally always going through transformations. Like, that's <laughs> fine. Um, okay, so I see why you're like this. But the, but, I mean... The thing is that I don't blame you, Scorpio, because I understand what you're coming from. But I also understand where the universe is coming from, too. Because they're like, listen, Scorpio, you know that there's something way better at the other end of this tunnel. And you just got to go through this barf patch right now. But once you go through this rough patch, there's a beautiful... Look at this water there. And there's all, all the stuff that you can't see. It's beautiful out there. But right now, you're in the dark. Um, and you're like, and the universe is like, so just, you know, look forward to that. Keep your spirits up. And Scorpio's like, how am I supposed to do that with A, B, and C, and D, and E, and F, and F, and D, and blah, 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 and all of this stuff that's happening? Um, so it's kind of like, look at the brighter things. Look at the brighter side to things is what I'm getting. But let's see. Pillar of light, spirit. Can you clarify? I also feel like people, people follow you. People listen to you, Scorpio. You have justice here. That's that's the right thing to do, Scorpio. Like, I don't know why. And this might sound, like, really selfish, but, yeah. See, with the Queen of Swords in reverse, the lovers is here. This is something that you're kind of... <sighs> the magician. I want to say that you're kind of called for. Like, you kind of have no choice but to do this. And that's why I was getting that, because the magician, you created this. You manifested this. You asked for this. Um, and it's like, you know, it, it, it might be going through a rough patch right now. But it's leading you to something better here. Uh, you have the justice and the queen of swords. You got to make things right. You got to hear. Um, you gotta, you gotta open up. You gotta lighten up because you're coming off with like a B I T C H. And I get it. I get it. You're going through a transformation, and you probably just finished from coming through one. Like I feel like, you know what I feel? I feel like you guys are like, I, I, I just went through a transformation, and now another one. Universe, are you serious? Like a lot of you guys are fed up. Like you're fed up. <laughs> Look at what the universe is telling you. It's all coming together. Don't worry. Get grounded. Because, you know, they know they see it. They know your guide, your intuition. They all know. Everything's already rewritten. So it's like... They want you to take it easy. I feel like you're taking things too seriously. Uh, the Ten of Cups and the Lovers. I also feel like there's a connection here. 
Ooh, it makes you very happy here. Very passionate. Mm -hmm. The universe is looking after this connection, okay? Um, and they want you to make things right with this connection. I feel like this connection needs your your light, needs your needs your energy to like keep it not to, not to keep it going, but like it needs it. And you acting like a like a feet beat isn't helping it. <laughs> All right, what's underneath the magician? Page of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Cups. Like this is yours, bruh. This is yours, and you don't want to take care of it. You're like eh, eh. And whatever, and it's like, and it's like, they want you to improve your energy, your attitude, okay? That's what they want you to improve because you're acting kind of like towards something that you asked for. And I feel like you're only acting like towards this because you got something else going on with this, um, with this, in the initiation card here. That is getting you ready to open you up to a new, a new version of yourself, unlocking another an, another door. I don't know why, but I heard that um, Scorpio risings take the the um, the rebirth a lot harder than the suns do than the you know the scorpio suns i feel like that's true because even when it comes to aries like i'm an aries sun i feel like i don't really go through that much it's like when i look at the aries stuff i don't really go i don't really resonate a lot with the aries stuff i resonate a lot with more of the scorpio stuff and i'm a scorpio rising <laughs> yeah buddy anyway just a little bit about me um, I really feel like I embody Scorpio way more than Aries. I mean, I freaking love Scorpios. That mysterious, intense side. Oh, fucking love it. I love all that, like, obviously, right? Because I'm a Scorpio. Anyway, let's see what else. What does Scorpio need to improve on, spirit? What does Scorpio need to improve on? Awaken me. This is all, like, connected. Um, energetic upgrades a new way of being integration you need to improve transitioning transitioning yourself to this new scorpio this new version of yourself star mother how can you mother yourself and take care of yourself because mm, yeah what is improvement is you taking care of yourself physically mentally emotionally which card am i using all of that stuff let's clarify Alright, let's see what time it is. Alright, Spirit Awakening. Why is that here? Awakening. Knight of Pentacles. What else for Awakening? Ooh. Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Knight of Wands. I'm about to let you guys know what I'm on. And the Wheel of Fortune. Right. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords. Alright, so <laughs> I laugh because in this deck there's two of um there's two knights of pentacles and you got one upright and one reversed. It's like you're half and half, Scorp. You're like, yeah. I know this new me is happening. I'm going to be loyal and committed to taking care of this new me, taking care of myself. And then there's the other side of you that's like, eh, I don't give a fuck right now. I don't give a fuck right now. You, what needs to improve is your willpower, boo-boo. You, you need to stick it in there. You can't be flipping and flopping and one day, yeah, yeah, I'm going to eat my greens. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then the next day, and then you just eat fast food, restaurant, drive through for like a whole month. No. That's not how it works. <laughs> uh, with the Knight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, this is fated to death. This is fated to happen. I see you might you might be you might find it difficult to grab a grip on how to do this and how to keep it steady and um, punctual, but not punctual. What is that word that I always tell Taurus? Ah. 
it's not punctual it's like when you're doing something consistently there you go keeping it consistent um i see you i see you doing it i see you doing it you're struggling though oh don't make me laugh scorpio uh but you are struggling with it i'm not laughing at you okay i'm not laughing at you the energy just it's just um it's just funny to me um because like i get it you know what i'm saying like i get it the six of swords i'm sorry the six of wands in reverse ace of wands in reverse with the six of swords you are going to be moving forward but you know don't expect things to happen overnight is what i'm getting you might have to hit some walls before you get to the good stuff so don't allow these walls that you're gonna hit to create fear instead learn how to get through the walls and look at the wall and figure out why the wall is there because i like i said i see you doing it but it might take you some time <laughs> okay all right guys all that i have for you today hope this brought some clarity or some insight into your situation and yeah have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive